shares of Amazon staged a turnaround today, finished higher by 1% or so after the president did reiterate his criticism of the tech giant in a tweet this morning. He said, quote, I've stated my concerns with Amazon long before the election. Unlike others, they pay little or no taxes to state and local governments, use our postal system as their delivering boy, causing tremendous loss to the U.S., and are putting many thousands of retailers out of business. That was the president's tweet. So what should CEO Jeff Bezos do about Trump coming after his company? Joining us now are Bill Simon, the former president and CEO of Walmart U.S., and Jerry Storch, the former chair and CEO of Toys R Us, also former CEO of Hudson's Bay. And in the 90s, he founded Target.com and in 01 made a deal with Amazon and Jeff Bezos. Anything else we should mention? Well, <laughs> well I'm more, CEO of Storch Advisors now. <laughs> and CEO okay. of Storch Advisors, and he's here with us at Post 9. So, Jerry, we'll start with you. And... Um, First of all, how real the threat is to Amazon, and second of all, how, how Jeff should handle it. I don't think it's a real threat anymore. I mean, Jeff did a fantastic job building that business, and he did take advantage of the tax policy as it was in place at the time. But is one issue is whether it was good for Jeff, and it clearly was. Different issue is it good for the country, is it, is it proper public policy? And it's based on a Supreme Court decision that came down three years before Jeff shipped his first book. It's an antiquated decision. It's an anachronism. It shouldn't matter where something's sold or how it's sold. State taxes should be sold, should be paid, unless you want to beggar Main Street and put retailers out of business. But the curious thing about this is that Amazon, for the most part, collects sales tax, but the third-party merchants on its platform are right. not taxed. There's so no doubt a lot mind, of those are small yeah, businesses. No doubt in my mind, it helped them get started. At this point, it's not a big issue for first-party sales on Amazon. But half their sales are through the marketplace yes. and these the third parties who are not collecting tax. And they should. Right, but it's the small businesses who are going to get, let's say maybe not all of them are small, but a lot of these, any third party merchant on Amazon, if they're forced to pay sales, my, my point is, if that's what this issue is going to come down to and how it's going to be resolved, how does that affect Amazon's business? No, the, because it probably helps half them. their business is through the marketplace. And, uh, It'll make consumers, Amazon's offerings cheaper than those third party offerings. No, not really, because they collect the sales taxes on theirs too now. So they should collect taxes on everything that they sell, just like everyone else in the world does. And that's the, that's the correct way to do it. The old arguments don't apply anymore. If you read that Supreme Court decision, it was based on the Commerce Clause of the Constitution, how difficult it was to collect sales taxes, all kinds of things that simply don't apply anymore. Yeah. And, and uh, at that point, e-commerce was nothing. It was so, zero. Now it's taking over the whole economy. You won't be able to pay for schools, for roads, for everything if it keeps going down that path. Bill, I know to you this might be quibbling around the edges because I, I see here you think that Congress should just simply split Amazon up. Is that right? Well, I think they should look at it. I think for a long time Amazon has operated uh, the retail business certainly at a loss and continues to do that to this day. They've done it for over 20 years. And they've subsidized the retail segment with profits from web services. That'd be like Exxon deciding to sink their, their profits from the oil business to, to destroy the restaurant industry in the U.S. It's anti-competitive, it's predatory, and it's not right. Um, you know, they're not making money in retail, and they're putting retailers out of business. Now, it's not going to hurt the big ones. Walmart can adjust. Target will be there. Costco will continue to to thrive, it'll hurt small retailers and it'll hurt specialty chains. And you see what's happened to Toys R Us and uh, department stores, JC Penney's in trouble, and you see those segments struggling. Uh, that's because Amazon sells below cost and continues to do that in an industry uh, and it's destroying jobs and it's destroying value in the segment. Bill, long before uh, Amazon Web Services was really a material contributor to Amazon, they ran the retail business. They ran it at or below cost. The, the, the stock market allowed them to do it, kept financing it. Why wouldn't that be the, the case if, uh, if, in fact, AWS hadn't grown? I don't know why we necessarily know that it's a direct subsidy. Well, it could, it could be. Um, let's let it stand on its own and see if investors allow it to continue to grow. Uh, with no profit at the rate that it's been growing, it's been easy to, easier to do when it was, you know, growing from uh, two billion to five billion. Now that it's 140 billion, and it's grown in a way that's been been subsidized, or at least subsidized from an investor's perspective. Uh, let's let it stand alone and see if investors want to want to want to continue to buy that business that continues to lose money at 100 billion or 150 billion. I don't think that'll be the case, and their growth will slow, and the investment will go. Um, and it won't be trading at 1,500 or 1,400 where it is. It'll be around 200, which is where it ought to be from a PE perspective. Jerry, do you think they ought to be broken up? Well, I think it's a very difficult question. I do think the playing field should be level for everyone, and that's what hasn't been true in the past. I will say, building on what Bill just said, that Amazon has a lot more power than people realize. Not only is it by far the largest e-commerce retailer, 
But today, over half of all searches for product purchases yeah. begin and end on Amazon. That's true in my so, household. So, uh, you know, Google's not as important as it used to be for searches. So if you want to play today on the Internet, you have to view your chief competitor, who's Amazon, as also your ally. And you have to go out there, and that's why everyone's doing it, and go out there and, and figure out some kind of deal with Amazon so that you appear on Amazon.com as well as your own website. And, Mike, what do you think we need to watch in terms of Washington? I mean, what are the likely... The president's not going to put this out there yeah. and then not do anything. It's been a long it. time since regulators, since the government said bigness itself is the problem, right? The whole Standard Oil thing, they just kind of are too large in this place. Maybe IBM uh, also back in the 50s, 60s. So I think there's a, there's a big high hurdle for that particular judgment. So I wonder if it's going to be more around the edges, whether it is the collection of taxes on third party yeah. sales. Well, there's also or the question of having to, having to have other companies, uh, you know, web search on, a, on an arm's length basis equal to, to yeah. yours or something. And again, I, I said this is very complicated. I'm not there yet, but I would say there's a whole evolving body now of literature and discourse on monopsonies where right. you're dealing with more vertical situations, just like the AT&T uh, Time Warner merger, and that's what you had with Amazon Whole Foods, and that didn't even get a look. Right, exactly. No, I, the whole thing's, uh, you know, it's not consistent yet, um, but we'll, you know, the, the retail guys hate Amazon. I get it. Uh, Bill Simon and It's also Jerry hard Storch. to show consumer harm, which usually is the bottom line for what the government I still, wants. I think he's a revolutionary who changed the world, uh, so I think the guy's amazing. Well, that's what people say about Musk, too, and then they say, <laughs> but the company's going to be out of money. Uh, no, thank you both very much. Uh, Bill Simon, Jerry Storch, appreciate you joining us today. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.